So what did people do 200 years ago if they needed a necessity of life like clothing? Say you need a new pair of pants or a shirt. There's no mall nearby, so you have to make them. And the first thing you must do is gather the raw material. Now, in some regions, you turn to cotton or flax. But here at New England's old Sturbridge village, you turn to sheep for their wool. Of course, it wasn't that easy. Sheep shear laborious process for the shearer and the sheep. And then you had to have someone with enough skill to turn all this raw wool into cloth. After cleaning the wool, it had to be carded. Took strippers and prickly brushes, like pet brush, to untangle and separate the fibers. And to create wispy tubes of wool called slivers. You then stretch the slivers into yarn on a spinning wheel. Notice how the yarn gets twisted as it winds onto the spindle? This makes it strong enough to weave without breaking. You turn into fabric on a loom, and this is a typical hand loom. Now, weaving was done by both men and women, so I should probably do okay at this. First of all, we have to set up the loom by drawing threads from the warp beam behind the loom across the top to another beam near my feet. The warp threads pass through harnesses, which I can raise or lower by pressing down on these foot pedals. And when I do that, it creates a space between alternating sets of warp threads. I'm going to tuttle, which is this wooden contraption with a spool of yarn in it called a bobbin. And I'm going to push it across through that space, perpendicular to the warp threads. I then press it down, change pedals to raise the other harness to create that over and under pattern that you get used to seeing in weaving. I send the shuttle back through, pull it snug, tamp, and repeat this process over and over again until else I'm supposed to do or my arms fall off. You can see just how much time is going to go into this to produce enough fabric to make clothes. I mean, there's the carding and the spinning and the weaving. Then there's the cutting and the stitching and so on, which sort of explains why people would have had relatively few clothes. But by the middle of the 1700s, help was on the way. Thank you.